I'm going to show you how to make that Middle Eastern favorite baklava. Got lots of wonderful ingredients, gorgeous spicing, and then finish it with that signature traditional sticky syrup. First, I'm going to take the cardamom. I'm going to just quickly break them. Breaking them kind of releases all these little black seeds in there that are wonderful. And that's really where the flavor of cardamom is, not so much the husks. Grind it down. You really want to get it down to a fine powder, otherwise you're going to have this little seed of cardamom that's going to give you such a punch of flavor. So better to grind it down and mix it in. In with the ground almonds, chopped pistachios, some caster sugar, pinch of cinnamon, take the cardamom, use a spoon to scrape them out to make sure you get every last bit. Then two oranges and a lime. Get the zest in there. I love it because it gives you this really nice, clean citrus finish without being acidic. And the zest of two oranges goes a long way flavor-wise. I give everything a good stir. I'm gonna break up any clumps of zest in there. Get my pastry tin. Got some phyllo pastry sheets. Definitely don't need to make your own. Got some melted butter here in a pan. I'm just going to take a little bit and brush the base. I'm going to take my first sheet. It's almost like layering it in little blankets. Push the first sheet in gently because it makes the base. And then another two. Nice. Give my last three. Lay it crossways. Give it a good old brush of butter. Be generous because you've got six layers of pastry to get through, otherwise you end up with very crispy pastry. A little bit too crispy for the tooth. Now, pile your nuts in, it's that easy. Just want to make sure it's fairly level. Next batch of pastry. Perfect. I'm just going to tuck these ends in, one final sheet on top, so that's five layers, nice perfect square, now I'm just going to brush that with melted butter. And you want just enough melted butter to make sure that it kind of seeps through those layers of pastry on the top, so they're not kind of powdery. Now the best tip I can give you is to make sure that you score your baklava before it goes in the oven. It becomes a lot harder to cut into slices if it's not scored before baking. Okay. I'm gonna put that in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes on 180, or, or bake it until golden brown. Whilst the baklava's cooking in the oven, I'm just gonna make a quick syrup so we can drizzle it all over the baklava once it's done. A little bit of water in with some sugar, caster sugar, juice of half a lemon, give it a little stir. After 20 to 25 minutes that would have thickened up into a nice syrup so you can just turn it off and leave it to rest. So the baklava's out the oven and it's beautiful burnished golden brown and then your syrup Stop bubbling now. Literally, that's what's going to make this baklava. So we're going to just pour it over. And all we're going to let it do now is soak up that lovely syrup, allow it to cool, slice it before we sit down and enjoy our gorgeous baklava.